hey guys so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can add some uh, images or uh, gifs in the in the bot conversation and before i do that now i want to just uh, you know talk about you know, how you can what is the point of doing that so so when you have a normal conversation you know, with your friends uh, you are you basically end up putting a lot of media in that conversation right you are you are sharing your own images you are sharing some memes or gifs so that makes the whole conversation very entertaining and you know it's very interesting uh, for you know, for anyone who is uh, part of that so the same thing applies here also uh, when you are trying to talk to your users or trying to you know talk to those your visitors on your site you want to put out you know, some of these interesting gifs or images or memes uh, to make the whole conversation more interesting and uh, using that you, know, you can basically put out your personality uh, on basically on behalf of you the bot will communicate that thing to the user about your brand about your business about yourself so that's a very interesting uh, place you know, this is a very interesting way to communicate all those things with uh, images and gifs so with that in mind you know, we we'll just see how you can do that uh, the way to do it is very simple uh, so in this bot you know, we have this uh, gambit and in for each message bubble uh that you add let's say in you know, some text if i put it here uh you'll see when you hover over it you'll see there are two option uh there's a plus option here which gives uh, more, which basically opens up a few more options if you click on it uh you'll see an icon called uh, uh add an image with the image icon kind of thing right uh, if you click on that it will open this thing uh this is basically puts an image uh, place holder and here you can put the url of the image that you want to add so the image that you want to add probably either uh, it's already there it has a url it is already hosted somewhere or it is probably on your local machine so if it's on your local machine uh, you probably want to use some image hosting site like imgur so imgur has uh, uh, this option to uh, upload your own image and when you upload it it basically gives you uh, gives you page like this let's say this one and uh, this will this will give you the uh, basically the image where the image is hosted uh, so let's pick this one because it has a better uh, aspect ratio and if you click on it so this is a gif actually so let me just use a static image for now so if you click on it and you know uh, choose this option for if you right click on it there is an option for open image new tab if you go there you will see there is an image the url with ending with a jpeg or maybe a png or something like that so you want to make sure that the url is a direct direct url for the image so that will mean it will end with the file extension of you know of the image so just copy that and just paste it here and if you click outside it basically pulls up the image we should save it deploy this if you check it out this is how the image will look like right so and the image is like is zoomable if the user clicks on it you can see the whole image in more better view uh, similarly i want to also show you something called jiffy so this is something we use extensively we use a lot uh, so it has some really interesting gifs that you can just use directly um you can also search for it or you can um, you can pick from a trending gif so the idea here again is to use a, a relevant gif from from the site uh, so to do that uh, just click on any gif and you you will see the option to download it we don't want to download it we just want to you just want the url of the gif so it's important to pick the gifs with the smallest size because gifs can be really big Uh, in size and you know, it will take a lot more time to load it so when you download it there will be option for different options i would suggest to pick the this last one which says small and use this uh, url if you go to this url you again you will see there is a uh, it ends the url ends with the dot gif extension dot gif is a file extension file format so you want to make sure the image url is uh, is a direct link uh, of the image so you're just going to copy that and if you go here 
let's say we make another bubble and add it get a gif is awake again come here we just save this deploy and see so the gif has come here right so that's how you use it again the most important part is you know to find the relevant gifs you know which keeps the user in interested or no, makes makes the whole conversation more fun and uh, interesting so definitely check this feature